KSHB 41's Megan Abundis begins our team coverage tonight. She brings us the voice of city leaders and the changes they plan to make this year. All eyes and cameras were on Chief Stacy Graves after record breaking KC violence. We have a culture of violence in Kansas City of solving gun conflict with guns. That is the, 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 the violent cycle that we need to, to break. The chief made some 2024 department promises, including sharing a written violent crime plan that has a focused evidence based approach. I know that you're involved in criminal activity. You have a choice. You can choose to accept services to assist you in getting out of a life of crime. You can do that on your own and, and stop being involved in criminal activity or you will face enforcement with a certainty of consequences. She said she'll deliver a highly trained police force and move all patrol officers to 11 hour shifts this month. We are facing a critical staffing shortage. 300 officers short and that matters. The chief says the new shift will allow for more officer overlap on the streets, working those peak crime hours. So they're not only more available for 911 calls, but can be more visible, roaming our neighborhoods and practicing proactive policing. The city says the police budget has been submitted. I mean, I think there is an understanding that uh, you have to pay real money to make sure that we're addressing some of the things that we need, one of which is officers. Salaries are going to be an important part of our conversation. The chief and mayor agree police are just part of the solution. The rest is a community based citywide approach pulling everyone in. This year in Kansas City, we had a shooting at a bar where there had been dozens of police calls. In essence, right, the police department had done its job coming time and time again. There were dozens of code violations. There were dozens of issues. Neighbors had had issues for some time. Sometimes this is a requirement for the city to step up. It might be the schools being a part of it, our medical partners. That's what we talk about now in terms of collaborative programs and work. In KC, I'm Megan Abundis, KSHB 41 News.